It's a lot of noise. I can't record like this, man. Hey guys, what is up? My name is Steven, and in today's video, we're gonna review your images and see what you guys are doing. So let's start. Okay, so a few days ago, uh, I asked you via my YouTube channel and Instagram if you wanted to let me review your images. I received like about 80 images. Thank you everyone for sending your images. Unfortunately, in this episode, I can't review them all. I'm gonna try to review about 10, 10 maximum. And this episode is gonna be about an hour long, I think, to 40 minutes to an hour long. So if you want to see it all, then grab a cup of coffee, grab some water, grab some cereal, I don't know, whatever you like to eat. And obviously a notebook so you can uh, annotate different things that you find interesting. Also, if I don't review your image in this video, uh, maybe I will leave it for future videos. Or if not, then you can, you know, get some uh, comments from from your colleagues and see how you stand. If you like this kind of episode, let me know at the end if you want to see more of these. These are this is going to be a very very long video. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video and let's jump in to see what happens. So we're going to start reviewing our images, and the first one is Ivania Gutierrez. She sent us over this image, which was very interesting. It's like a perspective from the second floor outside of the building uh, with a lot of uh, human figures. Uh, so the, the first thing that I have to say about this image is that these people, these human figures, are getting too much attention in the image. And if, if you guys see, if I zoom very far away, they just get attention and not necessarily very good attention because when we when we zoom in we can see that there are real people over here like you can see them and over here you just see black people this one has a shadow uh this other one doesn't the elements don't have shadows uh, this one has a shadow this doesn't have a shadow so there's a lot of uh, weird things going on with only the people. So the first thing that I would recommend doing is first uh, deciding what type of entourage you're gonna have. Are you gonna have? Uh, are you gonna have? Let's see. Whoops. So are you gonna have these black people, 2D people, or are you gonna have these people? You know, you have to decide which one of the two you like the best. And if let's say if let's say if you were you were going to erase uh, these these guys over here, so let's say that you erase them, right? Uh, it still doesn't improve the image, right? Because it these people are just grabbing too much attention, and you have to ask yourself, hey, what is the important thing here? Is it the people, or is it this maybe the, this this wooden structure that looks very very interesting? So maybe that's what it is. And if that's the case, then, you know, all these black things, you know, all these black people right over here would maybe have to not be black or maybe would have to go. I, I, I can say it would have to go. So you can only leave like about, you can maybe change them and maybe put them white perhaps, let's say. Oops, I didn't. Although it looks much better, as you guys can see. Maybe I would put them white and I would also erase a lot of them. We don't need that much people. We just need one person to give it like the scale that we need. So in for from from my point of view, this person right here, uh this uh person with the dog, it's really, really nice, but um, it's just too much for the foreground, right? It's just like right up on us and I don't think it's just helping a lot. So this, you, I would eliminate first of all this person right here. So obviously I can't do this uh, very, very quickly, but you get the idea. I would just eliminate this person. Uh, and over here on the second floor, Maybe not. Maybe I would also even eliminate this guy right here. I'm here using the 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 clone stamp tool, right? 
to just do very quick changes. Uh, over here, I would also eliminate this couple right here that just blocks the stairs. And you have to also decide: hey, am, I, am I am I going to use shadow for my for my entourage or not? But if you were going to use shadows, you would have to add shadows to everything, right? So this has to have a shadow. This has to have a shadow. So I would recommend just taking this shadow off. And finally, uh, well, there are a lot of other things to be said. Like for example, uh, if you get farther, if far, far, far away, this red from biscuit um, grabs a lot of attention. And if that's your, if that's like the main, the main project is this this thing right here, then super well. But if the project is all of this then I would, you know, not direct my eye totally over here. I would be more uh, interested in seeing the structure right here. So that would be one of the one of the other observations. And then just improve these images, improve this resolution. Uh, there, the vegetation over here is very is in a very very bad resolution. And if we just improved the resolution of this image. Uh, of this vegetation it would look good because as you guys can see there's a good resolution over here on on the uh, like on the architecture this is a good resolution but once you stand over here it's it's very bad so this it may seem kind of obvious but you have to improve this resolution and the final comment because I, I can't I don't want to just stay all the time in this image uh, the final comment would be to maybe solve this visually right because this doesn't um i don't know it looks weird it looks weird and if you for example if you just decided because i'm i'm sure that this doesn't doesn't just hang like this without grabbing onto something so if you really decided to solve this i don't know maybe it has like some structure that goes like this i don't know I'm not really sure, but it maybe has a, some logical structure that goes over here and on the back as well, right? Like right over here, there would be some, some structure that just grabs onto it and it just looks much, much, it looks much more real and it just doesn't look that that weird because it looks just like it's just like it's floating in the air without nothing supporting it or if it's right here i don't know the more structure it has i think it can look interesting obviously this can't end like this right so this has to close uh i'm, I'm very scared for the people over here are they going to fall so maybe you have to uh you know extend this you know this railway over here and so people won't fall because I'm because this obviously is only a visualization but if the architecture doesn't work then it just it's not gonna work so uh, Ivania thank you for sending your image uh, there are many things that we can do to improve this image I really like the the structure the wooden structure that you have here it looks very very interesting and I think that could be like the center of the image so uh, maybe take a look at that and Remember to improve your resolution of your trees. Not don't put so many people. And if you're going to put people, please don't put very black black people. Maybe just put like very very soft white people, or maybe real entourage. And also uh, be careful with this. You know the, this these strong colors. Uh, so let's go on to our next image. Our next image is a section by Madison Barch. Barch, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your last name, which I think was one of the best images that we had. It was very, very interesting. If you guys can, if you guys see, we zoom in and it has a very nice resolution. You can see that the the building was very well thought out. It was very well developed. It had a very nice 3D model, and the color palette was also very nice, right? So as you guys can see, there's a specific color palette. Uh, there's the blues for the people there's this these oranges reddish for like the other elements like the sun and the architecture is white and you know this some things are gray so this is a very very nice color palette 
so that's a very interesting image. Um, the only I don't have many common comments on this image. The only comment is I don't know why it's so off center. Um, so if we maybe look, if we you know put this like the middle of the image, the the, the focal point is right here, but the majority of the architecture is over here, and over here on this side, it's just. Um, you know the build the buildings aren't that well developed, so I would I don't know I would maybe ask myself what if I have I, what if I have my focal point right here instead of right here right so for example let me just be more specific so right now your focal point is right here all your lines are grabbing from there which looks very very interesting but um all this space all this space is just you know you you only have this sun and these boxes look very weird knowing that you put so much detail onto the building over here it looks very very weird what i what i would recommend is just moving this focal point maybe to the center of the building so it could be so it could be right here the focal point can be starting from here and this way you can you know it can be much much interesting much much more interesting and eliminate a lot of uh, details like these that we don't want I would recommend uh, for those of you that are developing developing sections to uh, look on the Paul Rudolph sections which I think you know these are very classic and he just gives it gives us a very in interesting lesson on architectural representation and it's very interesting so for example if we get this Paul Rudolph section we can see that for example his this his main building is also like off center right so this is also like off center it's not completely centered but over here on this side you can see that there's a very detailed development of the place so it looks so it, do, it looks very very interesting and if we go back to to Madison's image this space is just uh, not very very well developed um, apart from that comment I really really like the image I think uh, the repetition of these trees are you know are it's pretty like obvious like these these tall i don't know if there are pine trees i'm not sure uh i think they look interesting but they also look very very repetitive as you guys can see you can see that uh the same tree was used in all of these places which doesn't look um, you know just takes a lot of essence off the image so like for example I like that this is one tree this is another tree and this is another tree right there are three different types of trees and if you're going to use the same tree right here in this space you maybe want to modify it a little bit so it doesn't look just uh, the same the same as the other places and finally I would uh, I don't know this this place looks very very weird I understand that maybe you want to make this pool pop out, like pop out of the image, which is a very interesting idea, but um, it doesn't look that way, right? So what I would recommend for making this image pop, you know, for this making this pool pop out is first of all, just erasing these uh, section lines right here. So let's say that we erase them. Um, Let's select this very quickly. So if we just erase them, we would see this pool pop out much more. But on top of that, I would re also recommend uh, maybe adding you know a slab a little slab to this to this floor right here so this is like a, a similar slab to this one over here and over here but 
which would also give it the feeling that it just uh, you know just popped out of the the section plane and whoops let's see and it just cut through everything so I think let's see the original image I think this one makes it pop out much more like if you want that to be the rule if not then I think uh, it would just be interesting if you just cut the pool where it's supposed to be cut and you know not have this extra stuff over here so if you can also just you know not do that at all and just maybe just maybe you know just erase all of this which makes it look much which makes it look much cleaner uh, from what I, what I understand this is like a section from from Revit if I'm not if I'm not if I'm incorrect or it's, it's a section that is pretty much like exported out of uh, a 3d a 3d program but I would be careful with these things right here so as you guys can see uh, in some places the lines are lost right so that we don't have these these uh, these lines that define our volume in some places we do like over here we have the line over here we don't have the line uh, over here on these columns we don't have all these lines so I would recommend you know drawing them in, 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 in Photoshop or in Illustrator whatever is best for you because you know these details just make all the difference here we don't have another line as well so I would recommend that and obviously if you center uh, if you center the you know the focal point I think you, you, know, you can put this over here and maybe even crop this out but obviously this has to be with the focal point in in the middle so i would recommend that but apart from that i think it was a very very interesting image madison and thank you thank you for sending it over uh, the next image is by ivan silva which has which he has a very nice interesting model it's a it's exploded at telemetric view it says here it's exploded telemetric of the roof uh, steel columns uh, wooden structure and details and uh, more details so i really like this image i really like uh you know this level of textures that we have here this uh topography that you can see like this uh you know like maquette style topography the detail that was put into this 3d model well, i think is very nice the detail of this um of all these trees are very very nice i really really like this image Although, although I think uh, when we are when we get like let's let's just clear these guidelines when we get farther away and let's just erase this right here for now and let's just do it like this when we get farther away it's some things aren't very clear right so I I understand that there is a clear um, a clear volume that you know just jumps out of here which is like the main composition which I think is very very interesting this diagonal line is very very interesting uh, but I'm having some trouble or you know I, I obviously understand the structure but at the beginning I'm having some trouble uh, understanding uh, how this you know how this is elevated like if this i at first glance i thought this plane and this plane were on the same level so uh i'm kind of you know it's kind of very difficult to to understand which one comes first if i didn't see this space right here i would think you know that these are on the same level and obviously this this square right here too is kind of difficult to understand so there's a problem of depth i don't really understand the image in in depth right obviously if i 
look at it for you know for much longer time then i will understand it but at a first glance it's kind of hard to understand and secondly um there isn't you know one element i think maybe this element is the one that stands out the most in terms of contrast because every element right here is more or less the same gray uh, so if we just like draw a quick color palette uh, of you know all the different tones that we have here uh, although this one doesn't count as much you know these are almost all the same and there's not much of variety in the intensities so what I would recommend is to well this is my opinion but you know obviously many teachers many teachers I think would like this image but I would also I would recommend just making one element stand out much much more from the rest and when I do that it just makes uh, the image pop out much more so I would recommend obviously or the roof or the floor one of these two elements if you just grab I'm not, I'm not saying that you have to add a color because obviously your image is in a black and white style which is also very interesting very respectable so that's the way we're going to leave it but if we just grabbed this roof very quickly let's see and let's just deselect it right here If we grab this roof very quickly and added a you know added a darker tone to it I think it would just uh, stand out much much more um, you know just when we get very far from the image like let's say if you print this image out and we get very very far from it maybe if we even put it in full screen uh, we can understand, you know, the project, you know, that it's a it's a strong diagonal line that's, you know, standing out and coming from like a, a, a forest or something. So I think, uh, you know, making this right here, maybe, maybe I'm, not, I, I'm not, I don't want to say, I don't want to tell you to add like shadows because obviously that's not the style of the, of the drawing. So I would just recommend you for to do this. And if you're not going to do it on the roof then you can also do it on the floor so for example right here we can we could eliminate this right here let's see and whoops we could eliminate this and obviously it could become much much more clear that this roof is on top and this thing is on the bottom you know the floor is on the bottom so uh, i would recommend one of these two but apart from that i think it's a great image i would also recommend having you know being uh you know having careful having a lot of thought with these margins because it may seem something stupid but i really recommend all of them to be the same proportion as you guys can see i would recommend or either you do this or you just increase the margins the white margins to the sides which can also be uh, very very interesting right so so if we just uh, let's see increase the margins to have like approximately the same size like right here and right here whoops this one is too much it can be you know just look much much more more correct and yeah that would but uh, apart from that it's a great image thank you uh uh ivan or ivan what i don't know how you prefer to be called uh thank you for sending it over so let's go on to the next image uh this is an image by ben stevens so ben stevens sent me this image and he also said hey dude you know I, i'm sending you this image but take into account that this image was meant to be placed right here so i was like okay so this this is very interesting right because when we see this section alone it looks obviously super weird all of this uh, all this white space all this sky 
but when we see it in the, con the context of this presentation board it looks much 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 more interesting and i think uh i think it's a, it's a great job you know in in terms of presentation boards uh, i think it's very very nice um because you know obviously this blue just dominates all the whole of the presentation board and makes this section the most important and these you know these diagrams are just like kind of secondary and complementary of this image but if i were to critique only this image you know if you were just to export this image alone obviously you you wouldn't be you know you wouldn't have all this white space you maybe would have a little bit maybe, Maybe you would, you would just have like this space right here for this image, which makes it much much more logical. And let's see, let's see like this. So you know, if we take a, the, a look at the section only, it's a very interesting section because it's very detailed, as you guys can see. There's a cat. There's a person over here. The you know everything is modeled in a perfect perfect way. I think it was it's a very nice nice illustration. I would only maybe um like at the first glance I would maybe want some intensities some line intensities right here like in the border but well they're not that necessary but maybe I would like some and maybe I would just stretch this a bit more so I could have this white let's see this this white space right here so I think this would look interesting and give it a nice base um, but apart from that I think it's a very very interesting image uh, if you you know modeled this at this detail um, I think it would have been awesome as well if you would, you would have done just a little bit of context over here to the buildings because it just looks at it looks interesting the building but it looks like it's just like floating in in the middle of nowhere and i don't know if your building is just like not in the urban in urban space um but if it is then i don't know i would at least want a horizon line that you know tells me okay so this is a horizon line over here this is all white whoops over here this is all white and you know on top is, is the sky or i would also recommend i don't know maybe um maybe some background trees something that just puts it like on earth because i think it it looks very very interesting but i think it's just floating in the middle of nowhere and it's not like recognizing its context so obviously i don't know a lot about the project i don't know if it has like an important context uh social housing but i think it, it should recognize the, you know the place that it's inscribed in but apart from that then it's a very very interesting image i love the color palette that you have here the pastel color palette people this is a color palette that we that we like because it, it's a it's kind of very cartoonish it's very nice you know this this palette right here this this building this you know this kind of beige uh and the frames the gray frames the detail over here on this section is very very interesting and yeah i really like the image just what just you know these few small recommendations but congratulations on a very awesome image ben next image is santiago murcia uh i think santiago i think this is a very very interesting image I really liked it. Uh, I really liked, you know, the the center of the composition. You know, this is like the center. Uh, at first, I had some doubts uh, on if this was evenly distributed. If there was, I think, I felt that that there was more space here over here than here. I also felt that this was. Oh, yep, it is. This is just a, you know, it has a slight inclination down which makes it look just a little bit weird. So I would just, uh, you know, recommend maybe fixing this up. Maybe just dragging this up a little bit so the, the, the line is horizontal completely. And if we take these guides off, it just looks much, much horizontal. And 
this image reminded me a lot of uh, the images that uh, Mirror and Lutigon do. And I, I, I want you to take the reference of this image because um, what they do over here is just create one, like one, one main color, right? Like this blue is just one main color, and then there's one warm color. So there's only two colors, which is mo mostly the idea that you have here, right? There's this, there's this blue, and there's this warm color. But there are some things that just, you know, are weird to the eye and i would recommend you having a second look at them so the first one are these white shoes <laughs> i know maybe i don't know i think i think they just they just stand out too much like from here i can just see the white shoes and i don't know i don't know if we want to make that the main the main the center of the building uh, knowing that all these people are just you know standing on the balcony apparently and well i don't know i'm having some trouble you know with these white shoes i really i like you know the that it's just the only white thing that stands out but i don't know it's it's, it's kind of weird i think i would like them if there was maybe more of a, of a depth to the image and if uh for example if we added a an adjustment layer and increase the contrast and we started painting in or maybe you know painting you know the this this floor making it much much darker so the building stands out much more and you know the surroundings also can be much 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 darker I think you know this these white shoes could stand out very nicely uh, Apart, you know, adding to that, I also think that the rain, the rain is very, uh, it's very 2D. It's very bi-dimensional. It's like if you just got a, a, I don't know, a rain layer somewhere, and it just has these, these lines that look like a curtain, but they don't look that it ha they have that 3D depth to it. So as you guys can see, I think that's just one, one one set of lines but you you don't see drops over here on this floor you don't see you know a sign that it's raining a lot uh she looks pretty calm for it to be raining uh, i don't know i think this rain if you take it off it would look much better and this this puddled i'm not sure if this image is made in lumion it just this floor makes me think it's made in lumion but I'm not sure. The fact is um, that the rain distracts it a lot from the image, and it doesn't add a lot. You know, sometimes we can add, we we can add rain, but I think it looks very weird. And the second thing is, I think uh, these trees. I'm not sure why you put them so transparent. I don't know why you, why you put uh, a layer of opacity on them, so we can see the buildings in the back. Um, I'm not. I think you shouldn't do that because you know all the elements right here this person the building everything doesn't have a layer of transparency just the trees so i would just recommend to put the trees again but without transparency and i would recommend to making them darker 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 so if we just uh if we were to see the trees like if, if i was to draw for example a line Let's see, let's take one of these blues right here. If I was to draw a line, you know, these trees would just be like some verticals that would just be framing the building, which would look very, very interesting, which would look, you know, darker on one side and, you know, could, could look much, much more interesting. Obviously, I would also recommend one of the other recommendations is as you guys can see over here uh there's a lot of you know perspective depth over here like you can dif differentiate a lot of this space from the back and over here i just see it like all the same in terms of n intensity so i would also like even recommend maybe a hue saturation layer lowering the saturation 
and maybe start painting in some dark spots like right here like a very soft and dark spots and in this in this sense the the person with the white shoes starts to look much 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 more interesting and the building also starts to look nicer uh these blue you know this uh this building has like a a, a brick facade but it's very gray it's very very gray uh, i would recommend like for example i don't know uh, if we can take it yeah i think we can i would recommend selecting all this gray um these gray parts of the building and making them a little bit colder so so if we just make them you know with a color balance layer if we just made them colder it just makes the inside stand out much much more and it makes it more interesting and on top of this i would just you know tweak tweak the contrast of everything much more maybe uh i don't know make it much warmer and it it looks very confined in this in this space i think it's or either you just take it out and make it a part of a detail of a building just like this like i think this would be one image or you just you know amplify this and make the sky much much uh you know stretch out the sky so something like this so i think those are one of the two options that i think would be much more interesting because right like how it was i think it just makes this sky a little bit difficult to understand and the last thing is obviously this skyline which grabs a lot of attention it's just unnecessary attention i would recommend or either toning it down you know making this making it much bluer and then having it be in the background just slowly slightly slightly in the background just maybe like this one is uh, and yeah that's what i would recommend uh, but awesome awesome images maybe i would make it this even darker i don't know I think the image has a lot of contrast. But apart from that, I think it's a very, very interesting image. Maybe I would even add, I would even make some parts brighter. Like right there, like right deeper, I would make it brighter. So it just gives it a lot of importance, maybe like this. So, you know, so the image starts to pop out a lot. So if we see the first image from the last image, we can see a lot, you know, the difference that it has. So let's go on to our, to our next image is by Hermant Jindal. I'm sorry, Hermant Jindal, which I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name, which I think is a, one of the best images we received it's a very very nice section it's, it's very interesting it's super interesting it makes the building look very interesting if we zoom in we can even see the people we can see even see the our photoshop brushes being used here which is very interesting it's very nice i really like this image it has you know a lot level a lot of that level detail i don't know if the trees can be in this, in this area i don't know if it's kind of utopic but i really like this image i think it's very interesting I like the textures that uh, he or I don't know or she added. I think he added uh, right here. Uh, my only question is, why is the sky divided in two parts? Like, why wouldn't you know this? These uh, clouds are very interesting. These horizontal lines are very interesting. Uh, I would recommend just you know stretching it all out over here and maybe what happens if i just leave it like this i think it looks interesting as well like um i think it's a good image but i'm not sure 
I understand what this adds to the image. I don't know if that is part of the building or not, but it seems like all the de-attention is over here. And for me, this is just like too much white space. I would recommend just, you know, like maybe leaving it a little bit, you know, a little bit, you know, a lot less. And just leaving it like this, maybe, which I think would be a little bit more interesting. Uh, apart from that, I really like the color palette. I really like these blues, these all blues. It's very, very interesting. And I don't, I'm not gonna. I don't want to say a lot more about this image because obviously I can say, you know, start nitpicking on the details. That you know, why is this ground floor right here? Why is this space right here like this? Right? Uh, why do we have this? this space but whoops this space right here but apart from that you know apart from that I really like the image I think it's a very interesting image and congratulations thank you for sending it in uh, this image is by Sina uh, Amadi I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name I think I think it was a very beautiful image. I really liked it. It's like a a, a beauty uh, boutique. I'm not sure what it's called. You know, maybe like a Prada store or something. I think it's a very nice building. I love the color palette. You know, these these reds, pinks, and the, with these greens, I think it's just perfect. Seriously, I really really like this image. The only thing that I'm just like, dude, why don't you correct it? Are these these um these verticals right here so these columns or this patio right here is very interesting it's like the main the center the heart of the building but you know this it's not totally vertical so what i re would recommend is just uh you know if you press Control t on your keyboard and just stretch this out on both sides by pressing shift just like this you know, you want these lines to be parallel. So you just stretch it out a little bit more. So if you stretch it out and we take it out, it looks much, much more interesting. Obviously, you have this error right here, which obviously you can fix if we, you know, if we select the these spaces and just maybe with a clone tool just select this right here uh, I think it looks much more interesting like let's say the before and after these are little details but I think it looks much more interesting and I'm not sure I, I don't I don't really like these plants outside of the frame I understand like the the concept the idea i understand it but it should have been you know you know i don't know why you cut it all like right through the middle i think if these were supposed to stand out then you shouldn't uh make ones darker and ones lighter so i would just recommend maybe eliminating that totally like completely I would just eliminate that, right? Maybe like this. So if we see the before, the after, I think this image just looks a little bit more balanced. And the final question that I have, which is just pure curiosity of mine is since the image is so you know since the building is so pink and so green why do you want the outside also to be the same i think we can make these the outside stand out if we you know if it's not pink so if we were to maybe colorize this and drop the saturation make it a little bit whiter It just makes you know this pink stand out much more and I don't know it's I see it I think it looks 
a little bit better without this pink outside and it just makes the, everything m inside the frame stand out much more so if we had it right here you know i think it's kind of difficult to read but i think i like this image a little bit more and yeah but the rest apart from that cena i really liked your image i really liked your color palette seriously congratulations i really like the texture that you put on this image the grainy texture i think it's awesome 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 uh congratulations it's a very very nice image uh i think uh this is gonna we're gonna i'm gonna do two more images and that is it because um well you know i can't i don't have that much time and this is a fine uh, an image by emmanuel carenzo emmanuele carenzo uh it's a very nice image it's very interesting uh i think i think i think i think that um there can be some improvements uh in first of all in the depth of the image so there isn't a sense of depth right so for reference i have this image by the master alex hographer which is more more or less also like a, a something in the woods image you know if we get if we, if we maybe copy this and put it right here we can see that as just like this there are a lot of trees which makes it look interesting but the trees are, have a lot of depth so this one has uh, a different intensity from this one in the back and these in the back right and it's something that doesn't happen over here, right? So over here, this tree has the same intensity as this tree over here. And it just looks very, very weird. My other question that I have with this building is, so um, this, I think this is a whole image that you downloaded, I don't know, that you took maybe. And it's very interesting, but it's obviously we have to analyze it this image doesn't have strong shadows the it's it's an overcast day it's you know it's a very cloudy day it's a very cloudy cold day and if we see the building that you put over here um whoops i think i already changed it let me see where was this image this image was oh this is the image. I'd already corrected it. So this image right here, um, if, if you guys take a look at it, it has some very strong shadows, some very strong shadows over here. It has some very strong shadows on this person, it has, you know, very, very defined lines very defined lines right here and if we see the forest it doesn't have shadows it doesn't have strong shadows it almost has like no shadows at all uh, it has a very gray sky so you're not supposed to put shadows on a very gray sky that is the first thing so you know what i would do is just maybe eliminate the shadows so if we just quickly just try to eliminate this you know it's gonna instantly look a little bit better second there is a pro you know a a something weird with the colors right so if we just forget about your proposal and just look at the image it's it has some very strong colors right so it has this this um these reds these brownish colors it has these greens which is a very nice color palette right so it's, it's more like purplish kind of right so this is the color palette that the context has now let's take a look at the color palette that your building has so if we take it, some samples whoops So as you guys can see, there's nothing wrong with this color palette or this color palette. 
what is wrong is that these two kind of don't go together, right? So our main task is to convert these colors into these colors or backwards, right? You know, we can we can either make the context much more brownish like the color palette or we can make our project much more purplish and greenish. So, you know, whichever one you want, but you have to recognize that the color palette is off. So, for example, if I were to select this house right here, uh, or just select this house and maybe I would go to adjustments, color palette, color balance, and I would start just making it, you know, tweaking it a little bit, making it a little bit much more red, a little bit purplish, maybe bluish a little bit. Let's see, maybe that was too much. So we can start seeing that if we zoom in, that let's turn up our color palette. We can start seeing that this color starts to get closer to this color palette and gets farther from this other one, which is exactly what we want, right? But then the question is, you know, this doesn't look like wood anymore, right? So we, we would have to either, you know, reverse that or make our whole image a little bit much more warmer and much more wood-like, right? So this would be a color palette that would be uh, a little bit interesting. If we just go over here, maybe tweak this down a little bit. Maybe make this a little bit bluer. Whoops, obviously no. And the 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 other thing that we were talking about is uh, the depth of the image, right? So this is obviously that you would have to do on on your own. But what I would recommend, like the first thing that you can do, is add a, a uh, adjustment saturation layer. Turn this white, then press Control I, and then we just start painting in from the back to the front, right? So. So if I were to paint the back, let me just select this. The, pa the back with a 20% opacity brush. Uh, I'll just start painting it in, painting it in softly and seeing what trees are in the back and what trees are in the front, right? And as soon as I have this, I'm going to start painting it again, but now much more in the back. Now I'm going to start doing it again and again until it just acquires a lot of depth. And now I'm going to do the inverse in the in the foreground, right? So I can, you know, increase the contrast lower the brightness and press control i now i'm going to start painting in this contrast uh right here on the front part of the images you know right here on this grass maybe on, on this house even so if we take a look at the first image and the and the one that we've done it you know it obviously looks much more interesting and the last thing i would do is I would maybe blur out a little bit uh, this, you know, this border that looks very perfect, very defined. You know, architecture is not that perfect. And what I what I would also do this, I would just add a a little bit of noise, right? So let's just whoops, decrease this. So if I just did like this a little added a little bit of noise it would just look a, a bit more imperfect and I don't know I think a bit more interesting right so you know this if the sun is if the the light is coming from here I could even add you know mask this foreground tree out and add a soft light that comes in. And 
and over here I could do the opposite, right? So we don't have a shadows, dark shadows, but we do have, you know, slight, a slight shadow that just gets darker as soon as we get closer to the image. And maybe it has a little bit too much color. So the last thing I would add is maybe, maybe I would colorize it and make it a little bit blue. And let's see. Just trying to see what color this image needs. And I think it just needs to be a little bit colder. So if we just go over here. And maybe adjust the levels a bit. So if we look at the before and the after, it looks much, much more interesting. And I think that is going to be it for, for today, guys. So uh, thank you all for sending your images. If you want us, if you want me to do a much more of these long episodes, reviewing your images and, you know, trying to identify how we can improve them, then write in the comments, write in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And that is it. That is it. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. And bye.